Buddy, this is a uh, Travis T-Bone Kilgore bassist for Mark Porkchop Holder and MPH. Um, we put a question out on Facebook a few days ago asking whether anybody would be interested in some how-to videos uh, for playing some MPH songs, and the answer was a resounding yes. So, although I'm sad to say that I'm not your pork chop, you're gonna have to settle for the T-Bone today, uh, and. As a bass player and rhythm guitar player, I am not the guy to show you Mark's lead work, but I've played bass and a little bit of guitar with Mark for quite a few years now, so I know some of the rhythm stuff, and uh, I can pass that along to you, and that'll be enough to get you started, and um, if you're a lead guitar player, maybe knowing the tunings and sort of the positionings of the songs and questions to get you in the ballpark where you could figure the solos out by ear, Maybe in time we'll get Mark to do some uh, more in-depth how-tos on the songs. Uh, but for now, here's a little something just to see how all this goes. Sitting out here in the music room at uh, my residence, Kilgore's Landing, which, as you can tell by the Grateful Dead poster behind me, is decorated by my wife. But anyway, uh, we're going to begin what may <laughs> what may end up being a series if it goes well. Uh, we're going to begin with... If Mark and or MPH has a signature song, uh, it's quite probably My Black Name. Back when he was a solo artist, it was one of the ones people liked at his sets a lot. Um, now with the band, we close with it about as often as we don't. And if we don't close with it, it's right before the closer. It's, you know, it's definitely one of the crescendos of the show. So just going to begin. Um, not taking this from square zero, uh, I'm going to assume if you're watching this video that you know a thing or two about guitar already. So I'm not going to go into the specifics of the tunings other than to say that that song, along with a great many others, is played in open D. Tune the guitar so that when you just strum it open, it makes a D chord. There's some other tunings we use, but that's one, if you're learning Mark songs, you're going to spend a lot of time in open D. So my black name is an open D and it starts with just, you can hear my black name ringing all up and down the line. So that's just an open D, sing your line, slide up to your minor third, third fret. sing your last line then that little intro lick that repeats at the end of the chorus when it comes back around starts at the fifth fret of the fifth string uh, and I'm numbering them one two three four five six All right, so starting at the fifth fret of the fifth string you play the whole thing with these two well these two fingers and uh, that goes which is the octave of the low root there, but it's you know, and there's a lot of happy accident noises in there. You know, strings partially muted, half muted, not muted, things clicking against the uh, neck. That's just, you know, listen to the song and, and play it until it sounds right to your ear. You'll get the feel for the right and left hand techniques, but it, it's all on the, the fifth and fourth strings there. And, you know, just pretty straightforward. There's some open. <laughs> strings simple enough and then you know just kind of muted with your hand oh and another note mark plays with acrylic nails on his fingers and i have done that in the past uh, i don't these days because when i'm playing guitar most of the time the guitar that i play doesn't respond well to the the claws it likes to pick better so Mark has acrylic nails on all five digits of his right hand, 
and his right hand technique is going to be way different than what I'm doing with a flat pick. But again, I'm so familiar with a flat pick and have played guitar and bass with Mark long enough to uh, sort of get the same rhythm sounds uh, for many songs that he does. So right hand technique, that's just kind of going to be on you. Uh, if you if you're a finger player or a finger pick player or an acrylic nail player, you know, just play along with the record until you get it sounding right. Same thing with a flat pick. Uh, and that was with regards to both the, the picking and some of the palm muting with the right hand. So anyway, moving on. You've played your intro. Yeah, my black name's spoken From the lips of a jealous man And that's just the D third fret, one minor third open. Lips of a jealous man. I'm gonna slow that down a little bit. Lips of a jealous man. And then on your first and second strings, that's the seventh and eighth frets. Let's turn my fingers here. And you kind of bend that sour. That's that's literally the essence of the blues right there is bending things out of tune in a controlled manner, uh, which actually takes a lot of skill as opposed to playing stuff randomly out of tune, which is no skill. But it's... I get, you know, hit it. You know, and then open. Now that and get it down here where you can see it. And that's the open first and second string, and then it's two, three. Now Mark sort when he does it, he goes. There's some happy noises for a fraction of a beat, and then he goes back to that open D. When I'm doing it to fill up that space, I'll go. first fret of the third string it's still in the same key it's an optional noise uh, so that's pretty much the verses it's, it's, it goes back and forth between those Am I black spoken from the lips of a jealous man to get different. harder to do things at, at slow speed so that's that walk up on the second string so that's, that's all aside from that walk up on the second fret that's all third fret and open Got no pride, and I got no shame about one more mark on my black name. And then it goes back to the uh, little arpeggiated intro leg. Go 
goes through another verse, which you're familiar with. Paul's here to point out that on this song, Mark plays with the slide on his pinky finger. Depending on the song, he'll either play with it on his pinky or his ring finger. Uh, when it comes to that, I'll use a different slide because this one doesn't fit. But since this song, he's doing the articulated stuff with these two fingers. He does the slide on his pinky. So anyway, you run through another verse. Um... Uh, They will not say And I got no pride Got no shame About one more mark On my black name Got no patience down it's all that open d chord but you're starting the third fret of the second string so move it around here one more mark second fret my open black first fret of the third string and then slide up to your third fret that minor third so it's increasing dissonance until it comes to that minor third about one more mark on to that. Then your bass player hollers, One, two, three, four. you know, and it goes into the solo, which I can't play, but I can show you if you're going to play bass or rhythm guitar uh, behind somebody playing the lead on it. The solo is just basically, you know, just strumming on that open E and then come up to your four chord at the fifth fret and then back down to the uh, minor third at the third fret and then and that's kind of the rhythm guitar part uh, it's almost runs the same song structure as another verse and, and pre-chorus um, so it'll be like one more mark on my black name counts through just just like a pre-chorus and then it ends with a big chorus dramatic outro is just the open D chord with the third fret on the second string but don't mute that high string there all right so there's a pretty basic how to uh, how to tutorial 
for the rhythm parts and a basic, basic slide for my black name. Let us know in the comments what you think of it. Um, this is the first video, obviously unrehearsed, obviously one take, no editing. Um, in the future, I may try to alter the camera angle. Uh, I'm not sure if this is going to work out for y'all, but let us know in the comments what you think. Uh, maybe what songs you might like to uh, have some pointers at next. I don't know them all, but I know quite a few. Uh, I even know some of the ones that aren't on the two albums. If you're into the old Fry Pharmacy stuff from his solo days, I know some of that stuff and I might lay it on you. Uh, may even be some bass uh, tutorials coming up because I'm the bass player. Why the hell not? Anyway, thanks for tuning in. Hope you enjoyed it. Uh, thank you for your support. Come see us at a live show, and uh, we'll catch you out on the road somewhere. Be safe, y'all.